Okay, I started with a, a 3D printed plastic spacer, printed out of white so it matches the foam. Then I put a, a carbon fiber tube through this hole, half inch tube. Then uh, put two plates on that are laser cut and just um, fix them in there with some goop. And then uh, opened up the, the spar hole a little bit so it would slide on easier, but then slid the foam cores on and also attached them on this side with goop. So that gets us to this point. Then I thought it'd be a good idea to get some epoxy in here to uh, attach this foam to the carbon fiber. So I got some of this five minute epoxy with the easy mix thing. Just laid a bead in here and tried to push it down with a tongue depressor just to get a little attachment between the foam and the carbon fiber. And then on the ends, there's a little hole. So I, I made a little punch tool, punched out some holes. They're not great, but they look something like that. And uh, just made some plugs a little goop on there and press that into the side so I got the ends covered up. So then, um, if you look at the foam, it's a expanded polystyrene. It's got lots of little pockets and that's going to eat up a lot of um, epoxy resin if I put that on there just like it is. I got some of this um, lightweight spackle, started putting that on here, you know, just to fill in this hole and also fill in the, um, the little pockets. And then just with a little light sanding and it's ready for our fiberglass. All right, so I've got the, the boards mounted to that plate on the shaft. There's a shaft collar there just kind of used as a spacer and something to rest on. And I've got the rest of the shaft coming down here and I can attach pretty much anything I want to it. I've got one blade attached so far and there's a light breeze. This thing has some torque. It wants to spin already so I'm kind of excited to see what happens when I put the rest of the blades on. Okay, here's the pivot system and the stops. I've just got this uh, polyurethane belt to act as a stop. After I paint those blocks, I'm going to attach these together, or these ends together, so it makes a round belt. And then uh, hopefully that will keep the wings within their range of motion. I have to glass these things, paint them, I need to balance it with counterweights. I just wanted to see how things were going to fit together. And um, I moved the ladder back. There's a slight wind. I've already felt a lot of torque here, so um, I'm just going to back away and see what it does. All right, here I have a wing. And what I did was I drilled a quarter inch hole through this, this wood and uh, stuck one of the pivot pins through there and what I need to do is balance this okay so I got that wood clamped to a, a platform here and what I'm gonna do is I've got a paper cup hung to this bolt through here this is where I want to hang the weights so I just put a little hook and in a cup there and I've got these, got these inch and a half washers I'm using for weight, and I need a lot of them. So I'm going to just put the weights into the cup until the swing is sitting horizontal. So try to get a better angle at that. Hold on a second. All right, so here we go. We've got to make the swing horizontal. Just start putting washers into this cup. Let's 
probably going to take a lot, so I'm going to just, I have an idea of how many it'll take, so I'll just put a wad of them in to start. Okay, it's going to be more. Put some more in here, starting to balance. So here we're we're pretty close. Now we could put to have a couple more. Stick a couple more in there. Okay. So now the swing is quite horizontal. And so I'm gonna put these weights on this bolt. I might have to go to a four inch long bolt so I can put some on the outsides, but anyway, this will be the counterweight so that the wing center of mass is pretty close to the front edge or front point of this, this airfoil. <laughs> 